Hi guys, it's Cornish Kayak Angler, and these are my favourite tackle boxes. They're the Plano waterproof stairway boxes, and I absolutely love these for storing my laws and terminal tackle in when I'm out on the boat or kayak, fishing from the shore, and also for keeping my gear nice and organised right here in the garage. In today's video, I'm going to have a look at why I really rate these, I'll have a look at the features of these boxes and there's lots of different sizes available so I'm going to run through those and show you what I'm using them for and what I'm storing inside of them. Right so here we have one of the Plano waterproof stairway boxes. First thing to notice it's clear see-through that's brilliant it allows us to quickly see what's inside the box identify what we've got stored inside and that can be really handy if you've got a few of these boxes in your in your tackle bag or your crate uh, you can quickly get to the exact box you need, um, but yeah, re really handy that is. Um, some tackle boxes are not clear, they might be dark or a solid colour and you're having to guess what's inside or perhaps write on the box to know what's inside of it and that, that's not much use if you're, you're changing the contents at any time, if you've ended up having to write on it or stick stickers all over it. So having a nice clear tackle box is really handy. Um, and to gain access to the box we've got these three strong cam lock latches and we can just lift those hinge them away from the box so there's two on the side one on the front it allows us to open the tackle box and it's hinged the lid's hinged so you're not going to be losing that lid that reveals the inside and it's a waterproof box. How's it waterproof? Well, it's got a seal in the lid, in between the lid and the bottom half. So you can probably just see in the top of the lid here, in a recess, there's this dark gray seal. And that's a sort of soft rubbery foam gasket that's in that groove there. And that contacts with the bottom side of the tackle box. There's sort of a ridge that runs pronounced all the way around the outside and as the two halves close together and those cam latches click down it engages that seal with that ridge to make a nice waterproof seal for your tackle box and that's great we're out on the water we're near the water it's the very definition of fishing we're going to be by the water or on the water possibly even in the water at times so having a nice waterproof tackle box it makes sense it keeps the gear inside nice and dry especially if you're on salt water you know what it's like when you get your gear salted up things start rusting your favorite laws you've got rusty hooks on them when you come to use them next well keep them inside a nice waterproof tackle box like this and you're going to prolong the life of your gear so opening up the box, like I say, nice hinge lid, reveals the inside. Now these tackle boxes, they come with a number of dividers. And these dividers are sort of all molded together, but you just trim them with some scissors to snip the bits off you need, like this. And there's a number of slots within the tackle box. Uh, each size has a different configuration, a different number of sections and divisions that you can put into the box. Um, this one you can see I've, I've already snipped some out and slotted them into position. But yeah, you just take your divider, choose your designated slot to you know, make the size section you need. Uh, and yeah, slot it into place and it sits in there nicely, quite firmly. Um, but yeah, you can have lots of compartments if you need it for lots of small items like terminal tackle or you can have bigger sections for holding laws like I do in these boxes. Um, but yeah, really handy. They come with absolutely loads of the dividers so you can, you know, you can go mad if you want and have lots of sections in here. Uh, but yeah, really useful. And within these sections, the edges are curved. Now that again, that's really useful, especially if you're storing small items of terminal tackle and you need to reach in and get something out. If you've got sharp corners, it means small items can get stuck in the corner. It's really difficult to, to pull them out. Uh, whereas if you've got nice rounded sides, it's easy to, to roll them out or pick them out from the section. So that's a really handy feature too of this box. Um, but yeah, this hinges shut, clips down in place, and you've sealed your tackle inside. Another quite handy feature, you may just sit on the front of this box here, there's a little notch that's sort of recessed in from the rest of the box. And it's a little grab point, 
quite handy if you've got lots of these stacked up in a row in a crate or a bag. It allows you to reach inside, pull your tackle box out, without having to wedge your fingers in between them. So another a little handy feature there um, of the Plano Stowaway waterproof tackle boxes. So great tackle boxes. I absolutely love them. As I say, I've got absolutely loads of these, all different sizes. I'm going to run through them now, show you each one. Uh, what you can put inside of it, we'll give you some ideas of what you can put inside of it and uh, yeah, show you how I've loaded them up. Okay, so the first size in the range is the 3400 size. Nice little small compact size. And inside we find just one compartment. There's no dividers in here, so it's just one single compartment. And I particularly like these boxes for when I'm going out on short sessions, uh, only using a little bit of gear. I just throw a few laws in here, a few bits of tackle. Uh, and away I go. Um, yeah, quite handy for that. I mean, I've just got a selection of bass laws in there. Um, but yeah, quite handy. They are a small enough size to, yeah, fit a few packs of hooks and swivels, etc. And I've got a few bits and bobs in that one there. So great if I'm just hopping out for a few hours and I don't want to go taking too much gear, traveling light, you can fit it all in there. It's a fine size as well to perhaps put your keys in there or even a phone. Um, my phone, it just doesn't fit in there. Mine's the iPhone 13 Max um, and that's just too big. But if you've got anything smaller than that, it's gonna fit inside this little box. Um, and I particularly like these boxes because they fit inside my buoyancy aid pocket. This is the Palm Cola Angler buoyancy aid. Got really nice big opening pockets on the front and these 3,400 size boxes just fit in the pockets and the pockets will zip up around them. So you could fit two of those, there's two big pockets on the front of this buoyancy aid so I could get two of those tackle boxes in there if I wanted. Like I say, great for short lightweight sessions, you carry all the gear on me in the small 3,400 size waterproof stowaway boxes. Next size in the range, it's a 3,500 size. A little bit longer than the 3,400. Same width, just a, a touch longer. This one does have some compartments inside. So we open it up and we find three long sections. There's a number of dividing slots where I could plug in those uh, dividers if I wanted. But I use this box myself for a popping a few bass laws or a few soft plastics inside and just keeping them divided up. Uh, quite handy for that. But yeah, another nice little handy size. A good one for when you're not needing to take too much gear. Okay, so the next size up is the 3,600 size. And this has to be the most popular size of the Plano range. Um, there's lots of kayaks that have uh, hatches or slots that will take these tackle boxes and go straight into them. Uh, I know the Hobie Outback rectangular hatch does. Well, all the Hobie rectangular hatches, uh, they will fit this 3,600 size really well. Uh, also like on the Vibe fishing kayaks, they've got some tackle slots either side of the seat and these 3,600 size boxes will slot straight into them. Really handy size, not too big. We can see it's just a little jump up from that last size. Um, it's a little bit wider, a little bit longer. But we're now starting to be able to fit quite a bit of tackle inside of these. Um, I use these regularly. This particular one, I've got inside here a number of slow jigs. I do a lot of slow jigging. So the metal jigs that flutter down through the water. Um, and I've got loads of them and I like to keep them nice and organized in different colors and sizes. This box is great for that. And we've got different way, different configuration within this box. We've got one big section on this side and four narrower slots on the other side. Again, with lots of little dividing options as well. I've kept them open here to fit the longer jigs in. And there's also some slots across this wide section. So there's loads of different configurations you can, you can choose within this box. And again, it comes with loads of dividers for it. But yeah, I like to throw a load of jigs in there. I've got it nicely organized. And uh, I know exactly where my jigs are when I need to get them. Um, another box here. And again, I'm using it this time for some Cabrera jigs or tie rubber jigs. I've uh, got some inch cues here as well. 
fish candy shrimps but yeah again just keep stuff nice and organized and you can see here I've got a number of those dividers in place to help divide up these particular Kibera jigs um, but yeah lots of configurations available within this box really handy size and it's got to be one of the most popular ones out there right next size up 3700 size so we're getting a decent size here now you can see it's jumped up a bit from the 3600 size again wider and longer again we can cram even more gear in here i absolutely love these boxes for storing my soft plastic laws you can see this one's full of it so again three latches opens up much longer tackle box so you can I've divided this one in half. There's lots of dividing slots. Again, I've got four long channels and then lots of little dividing options across the box. I've put it down the half on three of them. It allows me to store decent sized soft plastics on either side of the box. Um, and yeah, I've got a slightly longer section on the bottom section to store some longer laws and some smaller laws on the other side. But yeah, absolutely great for when you've got quite a few soft plastics, you're gonna be using you know, lots of different types throughout the day. It's nice to have them all divided up. Uh, or just for storage at home, you can keep all your laws nicely organized so you can see what you've got uh, and what you may need to get next time you go to the tackle shop if you're running low. Um, and yeah, you can see I've got plenty of these boxes. Uh, the last box had a load of um, Storm GT Biscay minnows in. This one I've got full of the Berkeley Power Sand Eels, Power Eight Sand Eels. Uh, I get in this one, they're quite long sand eel laws. So I've left the slots open the full length so I can just drop them in and pile them up and cram as many in as I want. But yeah, really handy box for storing soft plastics. And like I mentioned, you keep all your gear nicely organized at home. Um, I use these particular laws quite a lot. They're the uh, Sidewinder Skerries and Sidewinder Sand Eels. Um, go through quite a lot of them so it's nice to just keep them all organized at home so i know exactly what i've got and uh if i need to uh top up any if i'm starting to run low but yeah really great way to keep stuff organized so yeah that's the 3700 size plano stowaway waterproof box so the next size up in the range is also a 3700 size box however it's deeper so here's the one we just looked at and this is the deeper version of it. And with the deeper version, there are two versions within that as well. There's one where you can have lots of dividers within. There's another, which I'll show you in a second, with a lot less dividers, which is better for bigger laws. But uh, this is the box that I'll be taking out with me on the kayak or on the boat or when I'm shore fishing. Um, this is my favorite one for, yeah, taking with me purely because I can chuck loads in there and I love to have loads of laws with me. So I've got plenty of options when I'm out on the water can chop and change laws as I wish uh, and I'm not left uh, fishing thinking I ah, wish I had that law that's at home because I couldn't fit it in my tackle box so yeah good size in this one uh, I've got loads of laws in here this is one I literally take out on the kayak so I've got a, a wide range of soft plastic laws I do a lot of vertical fishing with soft plastics casting for bass with soft plastics got some cabera jigs in here there's loads of space in quite deep sections again four long slots it's the same configuration as the the other seven uh 3700 box four long slots lots of little dividing options across the box again i've just divided it in half there it allows me to fit quite decent lengths of plastics if i wanted i could remove them and I have really long laws in there if i've got like long sand eel laws like this uh happy eel here um but yeah can fit some uh decent sized laws in there no problem that's the one that comes out with me all the time on the boat and kayak. A really handy box, can fit loads inside. Uh, again, I've got another one here that I uh, used to store all. Uh, I've got some, uh, some of the fish uh, bodies and heads in here, some hooks. You see I've divided it up into small sections so I can fit jig heads, jig hooks jig bodies in there so loads of configuration options i can have it exactly how i want it for uh, the jigs and laws that i'm putting inside of it so that's the uh 3700 deep stowaway box um in one version and there's a second version it's this one here 
And with this one, again, exactly the same size, same footprint, same depth as the other deep box here. It's both the same depth. But on the inside, we can only have a maximum of three sections. So there's this divider here which slots in place and there's this long one across here that slots in place. Um, now this is great for storing big laws. You can see I've got some massive laws in here. These are the laws I use up in the Shetland Islands when I went up there in the summer fishing for big cod. These are massive laws, 300 gram jobs. Um, and you need a big tackle box to store them. Uh, and this deep tackle box works really well for that. Um, so I've got loads crammed in there. The beauty with this box is that you can take those dividers out and just make it into one massive section for monster laws to go inside. That's what I've done with this box here. If I open that up, you can see I've got some really big laws in here. This one here, it's a 560 gram Savage Gear mackerel. Awesome law, of course, a really big cod on that up in the Shetland Islands. Uh, but yeah, it's a big law, it's 32 centimeters long. You can see it just goes in that box quite nicely. I've got loads of them packed in there. So yeah, it's a great box if you, you've got big laws, you just need to cram them all in and away you go. Nice waterproof seal again, so you can take that out with you on the boat, on the kayak, from the shore without worry. So yeah, there we go, they're the deep stowaway 3,700 size boxes. Great for if you wanna take loads of laws with you, cram them all in. So you've got plenty of options when you're out on the water. Whilst these are my favorite tackle boxes, they are not without weakness. One thing I will point out, when you're putting your laws inside and when you come to close the box, just watch for any laws that are hanging over the divisions within the box. Because as this lid comes down, you can risk chopping off your, your lure, especially soft plastics I'm talking about. Um, and many soft plastics are all right, like these Berkeley Powerbait ones here, they're really tough plastic and they won't get chopped up. Some it's soft like the fish minnow lures and a few others that are very limp and lifelike, but very soft plastic, you do risk snipping the tails off or snipping the bodies up as you shut your lid down. So just pay attention as you go to close your lid, make sure your laws are nicely in the slots and not hanging over the dividers. Uh, and one more thing I will point out, these boxes are very tough. They're made of a really nice plastic. They will take an absolute beating. I can really whack these, give them a knock. You can throw them in your bag. You're not gonna do much damage. However, this particular one I have broken. I've only ever broken one and I've got lots of these boxes. This one was filled with probably four or maybe five kilos of jigs. I've packed it full of slow jigs. I was here in the garage. I went to grab it off my bench and I dropped it, it slipped. It fell about four foot straight onto concrete and you've got that sort of weight hitting concrete with a FUD. Something's gonna give and in this case it was the plastic. I put a tiny little hole there in the lid. No great shakes, I'm still using it for storage. I've got some uh, rubber Muppet laws in there. There's no metal in there so it doesn't really matter if they get wet in this particular box but I'm just using it for storage here in the garage. But one thing to watch out for perhaps be very careful if you are putting a lot of weight inside of these, don't go dropping it onto solid ground. So there we go guys, that's the Plano waterproof stowaway tackle boxes. I absolutely love them, they're my favourite tackle boxes. Get out there and get yourself some, keep your lures and tackle in top condition when you're out on the kayak, the boat, fishing from the shore, or if you just need them for general storage at home in your shed or garage. Uh, you'll find them at any decent fish and tackle shop, any decent kite fishing store and there's loads of sizes to choose from so get out there and get your gear in the plano waterproof stairway tackle boxes hope you found that video useful guys if you did give this video a like hit subscribe on my channel there's plenty more videos coming on kite fishing gear fishing kayak overviews and more okay guys cheers for watching